While some girls dream of having breakfast at Tiffany's, other girls have simpler dreams, like climbing the stairs on the left side of the Eiffel Tower or hanging out with the love of their life in the most romantic alleys in the city of Paris. Our lives are made of simply complicated dreams. The most important fact is how to make those dreams a reality. Or do we need to? I can imagine how lonely and exquisite it could be to endeavor into the streets of Paris by yourself after having walked the most prestigious runways during Fashion Week. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mean, these past few days, aside from the jet lag, have just been unreal. This time I actually feel Paris. I don't know, I kind of wonder why sometimes I live in LA. Because if I lived in Paris, I would lead this exciting life. Oh my god, it was amazing. After the Karl Lagerfeld show, I was taken to this charming little Vietnamese restaurant. Oh, the food was divine, the jazz music was phenomenal, the people were so easygoing. It was great, I, I loved it. I needed it. Tu prends tes airs de diva avec moi. Hey boss, it's a Saturday. What are you still doing here? I am reviewing the final pitch information for a presentation to Knebo due on Monday. And I hate, hate, hate being at the office on the weekend. I cannot remember when I had a full two-day weekend. <laughs> Come on, it's a Saturday. You must have something better to do than burning out in the office. God, I wish. So what are you up to? Well, my boyfriend and I are checking out this new pub on Melrose. I heard it's really hip and cool. Do you want to come? No, I think I've had my fair share of clubs. You know, when I was your age, I used to remember when they would open up a new pub. I'd imagine all these beautiful men and women, attractive, going there. And the night scene was always about the place, not about the people. But I think, I think now I'm just, I'm way too old and jaded to, you know, have that kind of imagination. So, no. <laughs> Come on, no way. You're not too old. You still look really young. At least 10 years younger than your age. Really? Yeah, of course. Oh. My boyfriend's here, I gotta run. Oh, oh, go, 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 have fun. Guys, hate to wait. All right. The task tonight is to research and to sign up the top five dating websites. Here we go. Oh, he's kind of cute. Really? You have to register first to even browse? Ugh, so annoying. Okay. My name, Melody. Should I use my real name? Hmm. Let me think about this. And your email, your age, your body type, average. My hobby, cooking. Mm. Um, write something about yourself. I am an independent, kind, caring woman, well educated, and has a stable job. And growing up in a traditional Asian family, I believe that um, having a strong family is my goal and origin of all my happiness. And I'm looking for a man who is honest, reliable, and financially stable, of course. Someone who can share the same family value and grow all together with me. Oh, and most importantly, uh, no strange addictions. I am so sick and tired of perverts. Done?
talking about him. It was right here, right in front of the George Pompidou Center that I bumped into him for the first time. And he said to me, are you visiting Paris? Or do you want to feel Paris? I was intrigued. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe being here alone is like completing some sort of circle. Oh, um, by the way, Daphne, I, I want to have a conversation with you about receiving booty calls from Hank. Because I, I know you have a boyfriend, so you might want to be careful. Excuse me? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just saying that I'm, I'm not blind. I mean, I see your dress, the cleavage, you know, the footsies under the table. I mean, I'm just telling you this for your own good, because you want to be clear about what you want. I mean, do you want him to marry you or do you want him to help you move up in the company? Because if you don't play your cards right, you're going to end up with nothing. So, you're kidding me, right? No, I'm not that kind of girl. I have everything I need to get what I want and be successful. I don't need to stoop that low. Plus, I got a boyfriend. Anyway, I have no time and need to defend myself. I gotta run. Have a nice weekend. <laughs> wow. Okay. That bitch is probably gonna go to her boyfriend and curse me out. She's probably sitting there thinking, oh, blah, 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 honey, that bitch, she's so jealous of me. She's probably snuggling in his arms right now like a wounded little bird. You know, if people knew how complicated female relationships are, I mean, sure, I'm surrounded by this beautiful young woman who's got her whole future ahead of her. And yeah, it's, it could be bittersweet. I mean, she's fierce, she's simple, she's naive, she's got the perfectly toned skin, body, face, and neck. But come on, am I jealous? Fuck yeah, I'm jealous. But you know what? I do have empathy for her. You know why? Because my sister is the same age as she is, and I wish they could just see that I have much more experience than they do, and they really need to just take my advice seriously. I swear I'm so sick of this shit. Not even a single message, no winks, no likes. This is ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, what's up? No one likes me. What are you talking about? I sign up on this website, the dating website, and no one likes me. No one responses. Oh. Now, those websites are just an illusion anyways, okay? It's not that they don't like you. It's that they're not interested in your profile. What did you write anyways? I'll send you the link. Here. It's not too bad, right? Well, I can't think of anything more boring than that. And growing old together? Seriously? I mean, that just sounds scary. And not just for guys. 
but I just wanted to be honest. What did I just say, Mel? Okay, it's an illusion. You can't say, you know, you're too plain or too wholesome or you can't even be too direct, all right? I mean, at least not to the extent that there's no room for imagination. You gotta use words more like fun-loving, wholesome, no, not wholesome, scratch that, fun-loving, adventurous, or flexible, or something along those lines, okay? And about the guys, uh, don't say anything about being responsible or financially secure. I mean, <laughs> this is a dating website, Mel. You can't sound too practical. It doesn't sound romantic. I mean, I don't want to lie. And also, what if I attract the wrong crowds, you know? Mel, I'd say any crowd is better than no crowd. Don't you think? Okay. Well, we'll see. I will go make those changes. I guess I got nothing to lose, right? Mel? Hello? Okay then. Now if only playing the piano were as easy as giving Melody random dating advice. Society by Christopher Liam Christopher Blake. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to start you. Oh, that dreadful thing you're reading, the board of reading, is mine. I happen to be sitting here before you and I left my book here. Thought I'd come back and retrieve it before I meet with my publisher. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I was curious about it. <laughs> I remember you from somewhere. Yeah, I get that a lot. You've probably seen me. Yes, in... you were sitting across the aisle in the flight from Los Angeles to Paris a few days ago. Yes, that's right. Oh my gosh, it's crazy that you remember that. I saw you sitting there writing in your little notebook the whole time. Yeah, I like to jot down random things. I mean, I know, it's cheesy. It's not cheesy. Old souls tend to do that. In case I don't run into you somewhere again, may I? Yeah. My dear friend. Indigo. This is for you. Thanks. Unfortunately, I have to run. It was London calling. So, London, not LA. It's London time. Read the book if you suffer from jet lag. Maybe more effective than counting sheep. Until then, take care, Indigo. See you. See you again sometime. Liam Christopher. Sometime in this strange world. Some people let themselves feel homesick while admiring the most amazing sceneries in their lives. Indigo, for the first time in years, understood the simple beauty of just admiring Paris without feeling that emptiness she had felt for a long time. Looking at the day that was about to end, she thought, you can't escape the past in Paris, and yet what's so wonderful about it is that the past and present intermingle so intangibly that it doesn't seem to burden you. Paris is always a good idea. Aquí estoy. 
invitando para que te agarres. 